DFG Science TV, Stone Age Giants, the trail of rocks, from portal tombs to graves and their builders. Archaeologists, botanists, anthropologists, excavation technicians, geologists and many more. They're all contributing pieces to the puzzle of the gigantic project which aims at revealing the secret of the megalithic graves in northern Germany. It will take the researchers another six years to find out who the people who lived here 5,000 years ago were, how they lived and why they lived as they did and not in any different way. To coordinate the cooperation between the different disciplines, good communication is crucial to ensuring that everything runs smoothly. To facilitate this, the researchers hold workshops to report on their findings and progress to date. Martin Vorholt is responsible for the project's networking and communication between the 15 project sections. How is it possible to combine so many different disciplines in any case? It's certainly no easy task. On the other hand, though, archaeology is more or less predestined to unite a large number of different disciplines. On the one hand, due to the source material, which is very special, and on the other hand, due to the very broad questions addressed regarding the development of mankind and his interaction with the landscape and with the environment. But it isn't just at the regular meetings that the interim results are discussed and the methods of digging and sampling agreed upon. Well, one very important medium for establishing and maintaining communication is our framework database, which is an all-encompassing database that all of the projects and disciplines involved enter their data in, their new insights, so to speak, making it available to the others within a short space of time. Zusammenbringt und allen anderen zeitnah this means that the individual researchers, who work in different areas, have access to the latest data at all times and can share the research findings with the rest of the project associates. Many more pollen samples, graves and bones need to be analysed before the database is complete though. We'll have a much more consolidated data pool with a much larger number of radiocarbon datings. We'll have paleogenetic data, anthropological data, and data on environmental development. We will have data on how the land was cultivated or worked. And with this data, we'll be in a better position to grasp the historical, social, and cultural development, particularly at a time which was very important to the overall development of humanity, both in this region, let's say, but also globally. The years of research ahead will reveal how close we'll get to the prehistoric people and whether we'll be able to find out what exactly their motivation was to build such amazing monuments. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.